As we set out for another adventurous day in Thailand, we had no idea this would be one of the best days out of our entire time in Thailand and maybe of our whole lives. We're going diving today. It's 6.40 in the morning. Okay, now that I've had some time to wake up, let me tell you what we're doing. We are going diving at a dive site, Koha. There is a possibility of whale sharks there. I'm not getting my hopes up. I really doubt that there'll be any, but we're really excited to go diving again. But we have a two hour boat ride all the way to the dive site. So we're eating some bread and sausages and eggs and just enjoying the views. We're hoping to see a lot of fish, maybe some turtles, maybe some sharks. We'll just have to see how it goes. We are about an hour and a half into our two hour boat ride there. Soon we're gonna go downstairs, get all changed up into our outfits and then we'll be in the ocean. I always just get so nervous before we go diving. I don't know why. Like I, we just did it and it was fine and it was so fun but it's pretty intimidating. It really is. It's like, like not a normal thing for people to do. Just a few short minutes after we entered the water, we saw the infamous lionfish. They were actually extremely poisonous, so as soon as it started swimming towards us, we backed away as calmly as we could so we wouldn't get stung and end up in the hospital. Our next big sighting was a moray eel. This one was particularly cool because you can see the head of the eel and the tail through the coral. We typically only are able to see the head because the rest of the eel is hiding in its cave. These blue starfish light up the water and there were so many of them. We were already having one of the best dives of our lives filled with brightly colored fish, eels, and lionfish, but then we saw something we have been dying to see forever. We got to see the cutest little clownfish in their anemone. We found Nemo. We could not get over how absolutely adorable and tiny they were and we probably could have just stayed here for the rest of the dive just to stare at them. Then we saw a trigger fish. These are known to be quite aggressive and so we tried to keep our distance because we heard stories of a few divers actually getting bitten by some of these.
here are some huge lobsters hiding in their caves. This type of eel is called a giant eel because it is, well, giant. I think that was maybe the best dive we have ever been on. We saw the biggest moray eel and we saw Nemo. We saw a little clownfish. I'm so excited for the next dive. That one was awesome. We were down there for 51 minutes and we hit our maximum depth of 18 meters. after a dive to just relax and like talk about all the things that you saw with your new dive friends. It's also really, really beautiful here just staring out at this bright blue water with the rocks. This is an amazing dive site. I love it so much. As we jumped into the water for our second dive, we were thinking there is no possible way this dive could be better than the last one, but we were so completely wrong. This one turned out to be our favorite dive we have ever been on. Our first stop on this second dive was to go through a cave. To be honest, Jenny and I don't really love going through these tight spaces because it just seems like something can go wrong. We were swimming for a little bit and we were really enjoying it, seeing all of the brightly colored fish and just everything that the ocean has to offer. But I did actually cut my hand on some of the coral when we were going through a really tight space. And a few days later, I'm looking at my hand and yes, I still have a scar and it looks like it'll probably be a mark on my hand for a long time. This is our third eel of this trip, but it is still just as amazing every single time. Then we got to see some more adorable, cute little clownfish, and we were able to stop here for a while and just admire them in their natural habitat. This ghost fish is extremely rare to see here. I actually had no idea what I was looking at, but I decided to film it anyway. It's the thing that's floating in the water and kind of looks like a cactus. Right when we were least expecting it, a massive shadow began coming towards us from the deep blue ocean. All I could make out at first was a massive fin swimming towards us. Then I saw the bright white dots and realized a huge whale shark was headed our way. We could not believe our eyes. As soon as I saw this whale shark and it actually registered in my brain that this is what we were staring at, I swam as fast as I possibly could towards it because I knew this might be our only opportunity to see a whale shark when we're diving for our entire life. So I kept swimming and swimming, but this large creature was just moving it too fast for us but I'm so glad that we got to see it for almost an entire two minutes. At this point, I just did not care about anything else in the dive, even though everything had gone so well in this entire day. I was just focused on the whale shark, trying to see it as much of it as I possibly could. We honestly could not believe that we just got to see a majestic whale shark. We were not expecting to see one at all. So this was honestly the best surprise we could have gotten. But since we were swimming so fast trying to keep up with it, we had to end our dive just a few minutes early after seeing it because we used all of our oxygen up trying to swim alongside with it. Oh my gosh, I can not believe 
<laughs> we just saw a whale shark. That was awesome! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't believe that. I used all my oxygen. I just started swimming I as hard as I could. Yeah. I was like, I'm going for it. <laughs> I like pointed to it and then you saw it and then I turned back and you were freaking <laughs> We saw a whale shark. It, like, I saw our guide, like, pointing at something, and I was like, oh, he's, like, he's excited. So I turned, and there's this massive whale shark, just massive. And all I could see at first were the little white dots on it, and then I was like, <gasps> and then I, like, tapped Jacob to, like, show him. Because I hadn't seen it yet. And then he was gone. As soon as I turned around and I saw it, I was like, oh, oh. He just and booked it. it. I didn't care about my oxygen levels. Well, it was still okay at, at first, but I was like, I don't care if this uses the rest of my oxygen. I'm just going for it. And I swam as fast as I so could. So fast. And I think I was swimming faster than the guy at that Yeah, point. Jacob just bolted. And then all of a sudden, Jacob's like almost at the surface. And I was like, you got to come down. We were so deep. Like we need our safety stop. Easily the highlight of that dive. Lunch is delicious. A great reward after the whale sharks. I cannot believe that we were the only people on the boat to see the whale shark. Me, Jacob, and then this other guy that was with us and our guide. Only people on the entire boat of like 30 people that saw it. Feeling pretty special right now. Oh, what a great day. We don't always go diving because it's pretty expensive, but days like today totally make it worth it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.